Plastic surgery is exploding on Zoom. The so-called Zoom boom is real. People are looking at themselves in video chats through Zoom more than ever, and they're looking at themselves and saying, I don't like the way that I look. I, I need some work done here or done here, or this to be fixed there. People have said, at least according to those who are willing to admit they've had plastic surgery, that I, I really haven't taken the time to evaluate myself and how I'm doing. I'm just so busy, busy, busy. That when I really look at myself in the mirror, I see what needs to change. It's good to slow down. It's good to look at yourself in the mirror. It's good to make changes, but I hope they're deeper than just some crow's feet. I hope there's some internal changes that all of us would make in the busyness of this world to say, I'm going to look in the mirror and what really needs to improve about me? Here's a place to start, Psalm 144. O Lord, what is man that you care for him? The son of man that you think of him. Man is like a breath. His days are like a fleeting shadow. Oof, that's pretty humble, huh? I mean, to say to the Lord, what are we that you actually think about us, that you care about us? Because we're here, boom, and gone. We get so focused on our life, our goals, our missions, but from the big cosmic picture of it all, 70, 80, 90 years, and then who will know us 100 years later? Anyone? There is comfort that God looks at us, fleeting as we are, and loves us and wants to care for us, and wants to love us and be with us eternally. When you look in the mirror, you can see how much you've aged or how much needs to change on the outside, and yet the inside is where the real damage can often be. Here is something that God looks at us and still loves us, fleeting as we are, and cares for us every day of our life.